Okay, we're here at Space 2008 with longtime space attendee, former Day Prize nominee, Pat Lewis. Pat, thanks for joining us here this year. You bet. And you have a new book out, don't you? I do. Can you tell us what it is? It is called The Claws Come Out. Really? Yes, it's a collection of short stories about my two favorite things to draw, women and monsters. Uh, it's, a, it's a fetching combination. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes indistinguishable. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So, uh, what's uh, what's been the reception to the Claws Come Out? Pretty good so far. Pretty good. Doing great here. Um, I hear it's doing well through Diamond and uh, bookstores. Sure. Uh, it's being published by IDW? IDW, yeah. They found me um, actually through space. I was nominated for the Day Prize. Uh, I guess IDW president uh, Ted Adams is a big Dave Sim fan and trusts Dave's, I guess, Dave's taste and stuff. And, uh, yeah, he, he contacted me and, and asked if I was interested in doing a collection. Great. And uh, what uh, what stories do we have in here? Do we got some new stuff, some old stuff, a little mix? Yeah, yeah. There's a couple old mini comics I did. There's one called Bad Date, uh, uh, Prowl, and Abominable. And uh, then there's a new story called Zombie Trouble. And so it's the book's 152 pages. It's yeah. about um, about one third of it is is un unpublished stuff. Before. And the uh, the horror hostess. That's all new. The stuff horror too, right? hostess. Yeah, yeah. I tried to get uh, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, to write an introduction to my book and. I went back and forth emailing with her assistants for a while. And finally, she turned it down. So I said, you know what, I'm going to create my own. Uh, Lily St. Dead is her name. Now, <laughs> zombies. Have you, I don't know if I've ever seen you do zombies before. That was my first zombie story, yeah. yeah. Are you jumping on the zombie bandwagon, you know, Mr. Lewis? <laughs> if you're going to do monsters, yeah. it wouldn't be complete without zombies. Now, is there an alternate cover with by Arthur Sidon? <laughs> there is not. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, but you're the only one. <laughs> No, I decided I was doing like basically zombie variant covers for every book that Marvel published. Oh, is he the, Mar the Marvel zombies guy? Yeah, but Arrow, oh, that's right. Like, is he Captain America's a zombie? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. A zombie. I, I can't, can't get enough of zombies, that. you know? Yeah, sure. I'll, hey, it's great man. stuff, though. If I, I wouldn't say no. watching this. <laughs> yeah. You must be sick of it, but damn, they look cool. <laughs> yeah, so now what monsters do we have left in the repertoire? Do we Have we ever had a mummy comic? I did not. I've never done a mummy comic. Really? You know, yeah. uh, is there something you got against mummies or what? Uh, you know, hold out for the sequel. There's, <laughs> boy, there's no shortage of monsters out there. Yeah, and you got aliens, right? I got aliens. You got aliens. Uh, I got aliens, werewolves, zombies. You uh, haven't really done the giant monster, have there's you? There's a giant monster story in there. There's it's a, a four-page story, yeah, called uh, Mom vs. the Monster. And that one? Did I uh, yeah, it's in, it's in the back of the book. It's brand new. Okay. Ah, well, of course, brand new. So you haven't seen it yet. No, <laughs> well, I got the book I read. And you I got, won't I gotta... see it unless you buy this book. I did buy the book. <laughs> there's a oh, okay, there's... well, you won't see it unless you read the book. There you go. <laughs> there's a killer doll story in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so what's uh, down the line? We got another. We got some more comics, more graphic novels, yeah. books? Yeah, I'm still sort of trying to decide. I'm working on two things kind of simultaneously. One would be a graphic novel. One would be a, uh, a comic book series. Uh, so I'm going to try both and see which one. If I can get a publisher for one, or, or which one I like better. Now, uh, have you been approached, or has anyone approached you about maybe doing something animated? Because obviously the style lends itself very nicely to a possible animated. Yeah, thanks. Um, I mean, that's that's probably where my main influence came from. Was you know I grew up watching Looney Tunes. Right. Um, but no, I mean nobody's approached me about anything. Um, boy, it'd be fun. But yeah. have a you lot fired more. your agent? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll get one and then fire. Him. Okay, there yeah. we go. There you go. <laughs> that's the missing link in the equation. <laughs> All right. Right. Okay, Great well, stuff. Uh, well, everybody, go out, buy the claws, come out, go to idw.com. You have your own website, too. Uh, lunchbreakcomics.com. You can get yeah. through Amazon. Comic shops can, can stock it. Uh, you might find it at your local bookstore. Terrific. And then the claws will sell out. There you go. Ah, oh, so. very nice. Thank you very All much, right. Mr. Lewis. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> see you next year. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay. See you. Bye. <laughs>